Hey folks, my name is Sam and I'm a wedding filmmaker in Michigan. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how I film weddings in the rain with this. All right, so picture this, you wake up a Saturday morning, you look at the weather and they say it's going to rain. And of course you have a wedding today, so what the heck are you gonna do? Uh, don't get me wrong, some cameras are weather sealed, the camera themselves and also the lenses, but some are not as well. And so this is the solution right here. So what I'll do is just let you see some B-roll of, of a setup from different angles. And then I'll give you basically a, a, a quick breakdown of all the parts you'll need to create this weird setup. All right guys, so this is a setup more or less. I'll go through them one at a time and then I'll assemble it for you. All right guys, so first thing first is your camera. Um, I have here the Sony a6400. The main thing that you need is a cage. The reason I say that is you're gonna need a place to mount another cold shoe mount. All right, so if your cage, if you find a cage with a second um, that will give you another cold shoe mount, then you can do that as well. If your cage doesn't have a cold shoe mount, then uh, you can find one on Amazon like I did, right? Here's one right here. Um, all this stuff is relatively cheap. So I put another one here, so I have two of them. The reason I want two is because, um, in general, I, I always want to have a shotgun mic uh, to minimize the ambient noise of the, or omni-direction of the mic of the A6400. It sucks when you're tweaking things on the camera, it makes noise and it picks it up. So it's always better to have a shotgun mic on there. All right, so like you can see here, this is a nice little um, adapter here or whatever the heck you wanna call it, fixture. And essentially it has that, uh, I forget the size, I'll put it on the screen. Uh, normal threading uh, size for uh, mounting anything you want to um, a lot of camera accessories so that just screws right up in there and then that cold shoe fits right into the cool shoe mount so um, yeah you slide this underneath here you tighten it up this knob right here tightens up that gold part right there underneath I'll try to get closer for you so it tightens up that gold part underneath uh, so that's what that is. Uh, and then you can go ahead and tighten that first nut. Um, this right here is how you go ahead and turn this. And it has some stops, which is kind of nice. I like to use mine at 90 degrees. Or when I lock it with the umbrella. And then this right here is how you're gonna lock the umbrella in. After you put the umbrella pole through here, you're gonna go ahead and basically squeeze that against the umbrella pole to keep it down. There is also another cold shoe up here, but I don't really use it for anything, but of course you can if you see the use for it. But that's this thing right here, it's awesome. All right, the last and obviously the most important piece is an umbrella. This right here is actually a continuous uh, light or I guess even flash light umbrella that you use for photography or video. So this is a newer brand. You can find these online a lot of places. It has reflective material on the inside, nice nylon waterproof material on the outside. And so, for this brand, you go ahead and pull it like a regular umbrella until it snaps in place like that. I don't know how much of it is in frame right now, but this one's pretty large. Um, I didn't say it before, but all the links will obviously be in the description. So grab your umbrella, find the hole and stick it through. All right, so one thing I do want to know is that this setup will not work great for wide angle lens because uh, the umbrella will be visible, as you can see here. This is the, uh, the APS-C lens, the 16 to 50. 
And as you can see, it's 16 millimeter, which is about the equivalent of 24 millimeter on full frame, um, where the umbrella is visible, the black that you see there. So I'm gonna zoom in and I'll tell you when it's visible or when it disappears. So this is about 30 millimeter right here. So at 30 millimeter um, on this lens, the umbrella is not visible. So basically anything that is 35 millimeter on APS-C, which is about 45 millimeter uh, field of view equivalent on full frame, you will not be able to use that um, with this umbrella. One last thing I should comment on is that if it's rainy, you probably shouldn't be using a gimbal. <laughs> so you probably should go monopod. And what that means is you should be able to use the same setup for both your A and B or C camera as well. So, yeah. Well, that's it guys for this video. So if you feel like this was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. I am new to really making videos, so I'd appreciate any support. If, uh, if you'd be interested in more kind of creative, weird setups like this, then uh, definitely subscribe because I think I'm going to try to do a few more. But that's it for today. See you around.